Hey guys, welcome back to Elan App. For today's video, we are going to show you how to fix Shopify your domain is not yet connected. So if you're interested, let's start the tutorial. In this case, you might be wondering how do you fix this issue here with your domain in Shopify? Well, there are a few things you need to know first before you actually uh, do a few things. Now, if you just recently connected your domain, like for example, you've bought a new domain and you've gone to your settings here in Shopify, and basically you just recently connected them, there is some delays here in uh, the uh, connection of your domain. So this is what we call uh, the domain propagation. So not all servers, or in this case, your domain is not yet recognized. So meaning there's going to be some time here before websites or other um, now, people could actually access your website through the use of your do new domain. So usually it takes like around 48 hours. So again, if you just recently uh, gotten your domain here, you recently connected it, what you need to do is wait for 48 hours first. Now, once the 40 hours is uh, up, you could go ahead and check if that actually uh, automatically resolves itself. Typically, it will resolve itself, but in some cases, if you're still, still seeing this error here, it means you haven't properly set up your domain. Now, the thing that you need to do here is you need to go to your settings at the bottom left here in your Shopify admin page, and you want to go to the section for your domain. So usually at the left panel here, you should be able to see it. Go ahead and click on it. Now from here, you could go ahead and click on the connect existing domain here. But if you already have your domain here, make sure to basically uh, edit the already existing connection. Now, usually uh, the great thing about Shopify here is they give you detailed instructions on how to do that exactly. So you might want to check some details that you might have missed or some information that you might have typed in incorrectly. So make sure to type in the correct values for each of your domain. Now, uh, just give you the example here. This is a uh, DNS record uh, for uh, Go, uh, GoDaddy. So usually they actually ask you to add your C name, the name and values and DTL. So in this case, you wanna make sure that you enter all the necessary and accurate information here. So in this case, you wanna go ahead and enter the name, the values and DTL here. But usually DTL, you could just leave this as is. It doesn't uh, matter as much. But in this case, you go ahead and click on save. But yeah. The most important thing that you need to do here is you want to make sure that all information is actually correct. But in some cases, if that doesn't work and you've already set it up properly, well, in this case, it might be time for you to start reaching out to support. So in this case, you want to go ahead and close your settings here. You want to go and click on my store at the top right or your uh, store name here. And you want to go ahead and click on the option that says help center. Now in here, you should be able to see a bot assistant at the right side here. This is a chat. You can go ahead and just type in the following. So I want to chat with a representative and just press and enter. Uh, in this case, it's going to actually ask you for the information, but once you provide all the direct information here, it should start connecting you to a representative and that representative can actually guide you on what are things you could try here. Or sometimes, in some cases, the problem itself might be from the side of Shopify here. So contact them then. Contacting them is not necessarily a bad idea, but in this case, that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you. I can subscribe to your lineup. Thank you for watching.